Honestly, I think I lost my sight around four to five years old. My parents first noticed that I wasn't looking at things in a very normal way, uh, so they brought me to see the doctor and the, di the doctors diagnosed that I contracted glaucoma. The water pressure in my eyes shot up, so it escalated to a very high pressure to the extent that it destroyed my optic nerves. Dr. Yeo Se Ling has never allowed her disability to stop her from achieving. She entered the National University of Singapore and topped her cohort at the science faculty. She then went on to earn a master's degree and finally a PhD in mathematics. Today, Dr. Yeo works as a research scientist at the Institute for Infocom Research under ASTAR. During the first time I met her, um, my first impression is just really uh, visually handicapped with a PhD. No, I always enjoyed mathematics uh, as a young girl. I like to solve puzzles, so I find that mathematics is something intriguing. It mainly deals with logical logical thinking, so it trains, it trains my logical mind. And my maths is not as good as hers. I don't need a tuition teacher. She will be there for me to teach me all my maths. Uh, she's very sharp and very quick. Uh, a lot of the time when she's uh, teaching me something, I actually have to tell her to slow down so that I can keep up with her. She's a very warm person, very jovial, and she likes to crack a lot of jokes. If you look at her everyday life, she can, can be on WhatsApp, she can MSN, and she can even go hiking. She also organizes picnics, gives tuitions, etc. When I was in school, confidence is not as advanced as now, so a lot of my notes uh, still have to be either read out to me or prepared in Braille. I used to help her read her notes because she can't see, so I need to record it down for her. So she always sing sang, she listened to my voice until <laughs> immune already. <laughs> Technology allows Sirling to get around work. A portable braille note taker and a desktop computer equipped with special software enables her research on coding theory and cryptography. When Dr. Yo isn't busy with work, she volunteers her time, tutoring and mentoring other visually impaired youth. I started official volunteering when I was in my university years. So we helped some students uh, to be able to use the Chinese Braille and the Chinese software that we learned in Beijing so that they could also uh, do Chinese in school. She's quite cheerful, la, so like when she sees that you are quite down, so she will try to cheer you out, find some jokes. Mm. Well, she's the person who is going to successfully match, match make us. <laughs> oh. Actually, she introduced both of us to each other, encouraged us to go out together, etc. From a colleague to an acquaintance to a friend, now she's a family friend. <laughs> Many people have helped me along the way, and through helping others, I learned to appreciate all the help that I've received even more. I mean, the experiences which I have been through, I'm able to share. Yeah, so I think that helps me a lot as well as, I mean, to grow as a person.